and hopefully when this powers on nothing should happen apart from the fans going on. Let's try. Hello ladies and gentlemen, first of all I want to say a huge thank you for all the support and comments. It's great feeling knowing the community is there to, to encourage everyone along. So in the last episode, the rack arrived and much excitement was had. However, I can't just switch the thing on. I have to be a sensible adult and go through each section of the machine systematically. Because an exploding CMI only makes one brief sound, then, then no more sounds. I, I, so let's take things slowly. The next step is to examine the power supplies and the fans of both the digital and analog cages. Yeah. What's that? Wow, that was free. Solid, absolutely solid. So this is to come out anyway. The analog cage seems to have two separate sets of fans, some smaller ones inside the actual power supply. Don't fall over. I command thee. And the digital cage has four fans of the same type. I don't think this machine's been working for a long time. I don't think this machine has been a situation of been working. Because this, that's just voltages. I need this needs to connect to something. All right, out chicka. Again, I know, I really should have more tools and a more thought out work area, but I don't, and this is all I've got, so I'm not stopping. As I'm doing this, I'm also realizing that I'll be taking all of this apart again once I order the new fans. Ah, nut locks. So, hey, it'll be quicker the second time around. Oh man, it's just jammed. Oh, damn. A lot of this was also exploration. I had no idea what was on the inside of this machine until I started working on it. Take a picture. I know that this area is missing something. How did this machine function before without a keyboard connector? Although my understanding is about the same, my respect for the machine and how it came into being is increasing daily. I wanted to check the power supply on this guy. There was a nut inside here, which is not, which is not good. And then also I'd realized that there was a piece of plastic that fell out uh, when I opened this box up and I realized that the circuit board had, uh, had come away here. I need to get better at aiming had come away here and this whole thing had risen up and these two um, restraining springs were flat against these two. And I don't know when this happened, but this was blown. I haven't checked this one yet. And uh, the exterior one was blown. So that's all good. Break these things out. Both Peter and Andre say, uh, don't use this power supply, get a new one because the more modern ones are way better. But at least I'll try this one out. I don't think these fans are up to much either. That one's kind of jammed, this one is kind of jammed, this one's free and this one's kind of loose, but these ones, these ones I'll need to, yeah, I don't think these ones are going to, I don't think this is going to go at all, oh, hang on, I might take them apart and see if I can put some WD-40 in them and put a bit of love into them, we'll see, okay, this thing that might just go bang, we'll see. We have power. These fans are jammed. <laughs> okay, we'll get you going. They're pot riveted on. No, all right. <laughs> So this fan's running fine, and um, I'm gonna clean out, I'm gonna probably replace all these fans, I'm gonna clean these fans out um, temporarily. I'm gonna clean them all and make them at least run so we can see this thing powers up properly. Okay, so I've cleaned up all the fans and put a bunch of WD-40 in them and uh, dry them all out. And hopefully, when this powers on, nothing should happen apart from 
the fan's going on. Let's try. Is that okay down there? Not too close down the fan. Okay, fine. Two fans are going. Want to go. Okay, so um I don't know if it's I don't know what it is, but I think it's the starters on both of these are dead. This one's just hanging in by a thread, and this one I cleaned out and it's working. But if we power them on, you see they're trying to start. This one will get a nudge and go. This one nothing and this one nothing they're being held you can see they've got power but they're not um, powering up so that's one and a half fans going out of four so what i'm going to do is replace it with the fans from the other fair light so i'm going to use these fans which are perfectly good and um i think they're quieter they look like they're the same size everything looks the same let's just use this The old. I need to see which way these blow first. Because I guess they go that way. Which is reverse if they're sucking air out. So I'm going to attach them. Let's see what we get. <laughs> they're nice and quiet too. And they're all working. A great success. They're all pretty even too. And they all literally, oops, <laughs> they all literally line up perfectly. So I just need to get um, some screws and some nuts. Three by three mil by twenty-four mil, and um, we'll be fine. Bump, 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 bump. Great. These wires are kind of poking out just a little bit too far and it's designed to be, the whole system supposed to be upside down. And I could, I'm going to spend the next two or three minutes seeing if I can bend this up a little bit without it getting in the way, but I'm thinking I'll just spend the next 20 minutes taking it apart, upside down, putting it back together. Not going to take too long. Darn it, so neat. All right. Yes, they are. They are deeper. All right, mystery solved. I'll say it now. I know I need a vice. I know I need a lot more basic tools for sawing and things, but I don't. I didn't think somehow I'd, I'd need to be sawing things. All I have is a plastic fold-out table and a dream. As good as gold. Okay. Yes. I have no idea if there's any voltages coming out of this thing. Who needs volts? All right. Hey, and the light came on. Obviously, it's very important to keep yourself lubricated during um, hard work like this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this episode. On the next episode, I'll be actually soldering and desoldering connectors and getting the machine uh, closer to being switched on. And we might even switch it on, who knows? Let's go see. All right, till the next time, cheers.